Finally, okay, and I'm probably going to trip over this cable. So. Um, what are we here to talk about? First of all, thank you for coming to my session. Uh, I appreciate it. I know it was like uh, miles away from everything else, and uh, I got lost too. So, um, thank you for coming. Appreciate it. My name is Scott Nelson. I am a partner at This By Them. Um, we're talking about how to create an external API for your Drupal site. And the way to do that is with a module that I uh, originally authored called the services module. Um, Scott Nelson, this by them is the company. This by them is our URL. Um, I've been using Drupal for about four years. Why did that date? Say three, I have eight. Um, since the summer of 05, so it's been four years now. Um, I wrote the services and also the AMF PHP module, which is um, a plug-in. We'll get into that, how that works. Oh, wow. I lost my updated slides. That's great. I'm going to have to skip through some of these. Okay. Fun. So what are services exactly? Um, we're talking about web services, so getting data out of Drupal for use in other applications. And I cleverly titled my session, uh, you know, iPhone, uh, Ruby, Java, Python, whatever. Um, we're not going to have enough time, especially now, to sort of dive into specific examples. But I'm going to show you what to do on the Drupal end um, so that you can use standard libraries for Python, uh, Ruby, or... Uh, Objective-C for iPhone um, to communicate via XML RPC uh, with Drupal. Um, or you can do SOAP, um, but I'll talk, in, I'll talk about what those, the differences between those are. Um, you got SOAP, XML RPC, REST, which kind of doesn't really fit into the service-oriented model, but um, I think there is still a contrib uh, REST-based interface for services. Uh, out there somewhere. Or AF, which is um, a flash uh, binary ones and zeros uh, format that's uh, really sort of light and lean, specifically for uh, flash and flex applications. Um, services gives you an internal API to do these things. What is the services module? Again, it's an internal API for creating an external API web services for Drupal. You can create both server and service modules with uh, Drupal hooks. Um, has anybody worked with Drupal cores, XML RPC? Raise of hands. Anybody? No? Yeah, Mike. Um, what about anybody worked with services at all? Yeah, a couple people. So, okay, forget about core XML RPC. But um, services was sort of modeled after how core uh, XML RPC works. So it uses a similar sort of hook. Uh, mechanism for defining uh, methods. Um, it contains a collection of pre-cooked service modules to interact with Drupal core. So we get things like um, node service, user service, system service, um, just a collection of uh, methods that you can call to get uh, data out of the Drupal out of the box um, just by installing the module. And you get an XML RPC server, which actually uses the, X, the core uh, Drupal XML RPC engine. Um, it's just sort of a wrapper for it um, that uh, uh, allows you to define your methods via the services API and hook them into core <coughs> XML RPC. Where did this sort of idea come from? Well, for me, um, Lance, my partner, and I were doing uh, Lance, who does design, he just did a great session. I don't know if you're, any of you were there, but um, we were doing some some flash work, um, like you know, cool little funky creative uh, flash sites, and we wanted to have a way for our clients to be able to uh, administer the content um, without having to sort of build a whole interface ourselves. So I went out uh, searching around for you know what kind of was out there in the CMS world. Found uh, Drupal, um, skipped over it. This was like around 4.6 was the, the version uh, that was out. What did I skip? Um, 
looked at Joomla, some of the others, and ended up coming back to Drupal after I had sort of looked under the hood and saw how, you know, kind of nice, you know, yeah, it didn't look great on the surface, but under the hood it had kind of nice, clean code. Um, much more so than anything else that was available. So I was happy with that. I started doing some sort of custom XML. Um, maybe some of you have done this where you write a, a menu hook with Drupal, um, call a function, and you just generate some XML, you know, a string and spit it out. Um, that's actually a pretty good way um, to get data out of Drupal, especially when you can do something like cache that that XML to a static file um, and be able to read that straight through the web server without um, running through the, the PHP render process. Um, I'll talk a little bit about that, uh, more about that tomorrow because um, I've done some cool things with that method uh, for some of the Flash projects and Flex, Flex, Flex projects I've worked on. So it started with custom XML and then I started using the XML RPC um, library and to use XML RPC with Flash, um, you have to kind of install pretty heavy, uh, not install, but include a heavy uh, library into your Flash, Flash projects. Um, it just doesn't really work that well with uh, how Flash wants to work. So I took what the AMF PHP module was, um, the AMF PHP library, sorry, which is separate from Drupal. Um, it was a some crazy smart guys, uh, Patrick Minnell, one of them, um, basically reverse engineered the Adobe proprietary AMF format, and uh, which only ran on Cold Fusion and Java, I think, and uh, created a PHP library for it. Uh, push that out. Uh, the AMF spec is actually now open, but. Um, had that out, and I wanted to sort of figure out how to make that work with, with Drupal so that I could use uh, the AMF protocol. Um, and so I um, initially made the AMF PHP module for 4.7, and uh, this is before the services module. Um, it, uh, you had to define your, your uh, methods in classes, um, which actually is probably preferable now, but it wasn't very Drupal-like, um, so I wanted to do something that was a little more like uh, XML RPC interface. So I, after I had contributed that um, to the community, I was contacted, contracted, and contacted, then contracted by Adobe to uh, make the AMF PHP module work with Flex, which at the time, uh, the AMF PHP library didn't work with Flex. A little faster, sorry, this stuff's a little, it's a little back history. Um, so I used this opportunity, the, the Adobe contract, to create the services module and its API so it could become sort of my grand goals, the uh, standard of uh, defining web services in Drupal. So I wanted to do something that, like, you know, um, solve my immediate needs with uh, bringing stuff into Flash, but also in a way that didn't have to be just Flash, it could be any sort of app outside of Drupal. Um, so the AMF PHP module for Drupal 5 and above now actually depends on the services module. It runs as a, as a server plugin for the module. So I'm going to turn it, I'm going to use uh, services, you know, when I say the word services I'm talking about, oops, I'm talking about the services module. It's, um, views. Uh, who doesn't know what views is? Good. Okay. You know what views is. Uh, server. When I say server, I'm, I'm talking about a uh, not a hardware machine. I'm talking about um, like SOAP, XML, RPC, etc. I tend to say that a lot when I'm talking about this, so I just want to be clear on what I'm talking about. Um, service is uh, sort of a collection of methods that are accessible via remote. So, yeah, we'll get into that. What I'm going to cover, I'm going to show you two examples. Like I said, these are the old slides, so I may have to wing it a little bit here. Um, yeah, this looks right. No, because I'm not going to show you any Flash stuff. I'm just going to show you the services browser. So I'm going to show you two example implementations. I'm not going to show you how to install it because you should, well, hopefully you know how to install a module. 
um, testing services with the service browser, uh, loading a node in with XMLRPC. We're going to create a, I'm just going to show you how to create a um, quick and dirty uh, service yourself using the hooks. Um, and no flash stuff, and I'm, but I am going to show you the, the view service, so how you can get a, a list of nodes um, through uh, services. Is there any questions at this point? Anything seem sort of clear? Okay, cool. Technical. Yeah. Um, Droge.com. So I want to, I don't know if, if anybody's seen this site. I kind of, it's, it's sort of an old site for us now, but it, it really is um, sort of where the soul of, of services came from, if it has any soul. Uh, I just want to pull it up really quick because it's so sort of different than uh, most Drupal sites. So we actually have three versions now. He's got a store, and he's got a like a more basic uh, Drupal site. But this is the original one we did, where it's a full uh, flash experience. Cool. So everything that's being loaded into this guy is uh, dynamic. Well, not everything. Some things are dynamic. All the menu items are not dynamic because that would have been gnarly. But um, so, like, you click over into just discography and it brings you over there. All this stuff right here is uh, all Drupal nodes. So you can kind of click through, and yeah, 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 you get the idea. But there's, um, this is an old site, it runs on Drupal 4.7. Um, it's pre-services module, but this uses the original uh, AMF PHP module. Um, so that's one example. Um, the other one, I guess, would be, yeah, I wanted to show you my play, my play, because I actually, I don't know if I have sound. That would be cool if I had sound. Do I have sound? Anybody know? No, enough to get the effect. So we did a project with uh, Sony BMG uh, last year for their MyPlay audio player. Why is it not pulling up? This is my favorite album on their label. <laughs> oh, you guys, yeah, this is awesome. Hopefully you can hear it. Well, it looks like it's plugged in. Maybe it's not in the right one.
Bye. <laughs>